For anyone not sure how to tell if you have a failed nipple cup seals or o-rings, try to get this to focus and make it really obvious for you. You want to get all the oil out of the top of the, in the injector, either with um, air or with a shop towel. Then you're going to look down in there. You can see uh, three different rings there. The top ring is the retaining clip. The middle ring is the little keeper or guide ring that holds the O-ring down. And then right in the middle there is the actual top injector seal. And this one actually is good. You can see it just barely starting to eat away from the top down. But for the most part, it's flat and smooth. That, uh, that O-ring still has some life in it. The reason I have this apart right now is I had uh, had a keeper, keeper ring actually shatter on me. Um, if you're starting to get no starts, hot no starts, and uh, you're getting a leak at the top of your injectors, get them replaced ASAP. Don't, uh, don't dilly daddy. Because once that O-ring gets degraded, um, that little keeper ring starts uh, rattling around with the pulse of the engine, and you end up uh, it ends up shattering. And then that had that happen twice on me. Uh, probably got pieces of it down in there. Um, so that it, uh, I don't have the O-ring right here to show you, but the O-ring was like down to like uh, less than a sixteenth of an inch, and it had broken in one side, and uh, the the little keeper retaining ring somewhere down there. Uh, I was on the side of the road, so I tried putting a couple couple bow rings down in there and putting the clip back in. <laughs> it started up and then died immediately. This is what you're probably going to see if you have a failed ring. Let me lower the light light. Yeah, it's kind of hard to focus there. So there you can see the, the O-ring in the middle. It's uh, eaten away. It's smaller than it should be. It's very ununiform. nice if I had a recording uh, inspection light, but the best my camera can do. And this last one's feeling too. Now these are with my Boss Tech replacement O-rings and nipple cups. I've since upgraded to uh, using a Viton 90, a hardy, harder durometer. And I replaced the other side, and I haven't had any problems yet. But this side, I, I left the Boss Tech rings in there, and uh, they're starting to fail now. Probably got about 35,000 miles on the Boss Tech nipple cups and no rings. You can kind of see it there. Basically, you can tell without taking the injector out. You just got to look down in there, and you'll see the O ring is obviously not smooth. It looks like it's eaten, eaten away at. Um, it'll be ununiform in size and shape. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell. All you have to do is clean the oil out. Um, if you couldn't tell by air testing it, it's pretty obvious that way.